Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim, and today I want to talk about cryptocurrency and various news regarding Litecoin, Tron, Nano, and just the general bear market. But to start off, Litecoin has been a great payment math method out of all the cryptocurrencies. Sometimes you might have a big fee with Bitcoin and sometimes you might have a unsecured chain like other coins out there. However, for Litecoin, it has a long history, long history of security with micro fees, instant payment and no chargebacks. But there is a drawback to it is that once you send it off, you cannot take it you cannot take it back. There is no bank involved. You are your own bank and it's one time only transaction. But that said, uh, many people still support Litecoin and support Litecoin as a payment method. And some people made a advertisement slash like a video on Litecoin. Let's just um, view a little bit on it. Boosting how business does business. Instant payments, micro fees. No chargebacks. And basically, um, goes through these, these videos with hashtag pay with Litecoin. And I think it's great to see that there are still a lot of people out there supporting Litecoin and that to be a, a mainstream payment method. And I think that will be very a, a cool feature once it is mainstream because there is no third party involved. It is simply you and the other person and Litecoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency. So you don't need to go through a bank to pay someone else, but it is directly from you to the vendor or the vendor to you. So just, just take that, take note of that and um, keep that in mind as we venture into more cryptocurrency updates and news. Now, moving on Tron, CEO Justin Sun wants to prove that crypto is not a scam, hires a former SEC official. Now, Tron has been making a lot of marketing efforts, and to prove that crypto is not a scam, Sun hired a formal, former SEC employee to be first comp compliance director for Tron. And Justin Sun says, I fully embrace regulation. So this is good to see as you don't want cryptocurrencies to be dodging left and right of regulation. So by hiring a former SEC employee, this is going to make sure that the cryptocurrency and the project is in line with all the regulation. And that's a, that's a good thing to hear. But also from the marketing efforts, Justin Sun is going out of his ways to uh, meet celebrities and other mainstream media and advertising. Um, himself and the cryptocurrency. Uh, for example, he met with Kobe Bryant, one of the uh, superstars of Lakers, and take, took pictures with him, had an interview with him. And also he is moving forward with the BitTorrent project, possibly um, making a BitTorrent token in the future. So yeah, it's just a lot of uh, good things happening for Tron. Um, I do not know the viability of the project, but at least from the marketing side, he's making good efforts right now. Now, moving on, Nano. I haven't talked about Nano in a uh, This is probably my first time talking about it, but I just want to cover news and updates on uh, various cryptocurrencies uh, starting on. But their Bolton version 17.1 has been released. It's a rec recommended update for all Nano nodes to provide more consistent peer connections and addresses some cases uh, for processing transactions. So once the nodes are upgraded, they expect to see more stable connections across the network. They have a medium page by Andy Johnson about the Bolton version. And there is a various change logs over here. And it is recommended for all node upgrades to this release. So just keep that in mind. If you're a nano uh, node provider or holder, not holder, uh, worker in a sense, uh, make sure that you upgrade to this latest version of the node. Now, moving on to the last point. Um, this is coming from a post who's been on the cryptocurrency sub for a long time. And he wants to point out that in the first few months of 2018, the sub was really bullish, 
But now that price has been downward trend for almost a year, majority of the comments are are extremely bearish. So what this means is that when people are scared, they're going to be bearish. And when people are hopeful and really um, expect the price to rise, they're going to be bullish. So right now in this bear market, most of the people are like, oh, cryptocurrency is going to zero. Bitcoin has no value. And that's a dangerous statement. That's a dangerous mind trap. Because if you stay in that mind trap and Bitcoin or cryptocurrency turns around and goes bullish, what are you going to do? Probably right now you're going to say that's never going to happen. It's going, to, it's, it's going to zero. Everything is going to zero. But there is a strong handful of people out there that are still hodling strong and still holding on to everything because this is simply a pattern. Every time cryptocurrency falls and uh, goes into a better market, people say, oh, this is over. This is uh, the end of cryptocurrency life cycle. But then as we see uh, the end of 2017, early 2018, it bowled up again. So what I'm saying is that I'm not a psychic. I can't predict when cryptocurrency is going to go up. It, uh, that is going to 100,000 or a million. I don't know. But looking at the previous patterns of cryptocurrency life cycles, I am, uh, this is simply myself. I am sure that the pattern is going to repeat again. Judging from the past performances does not indicate future results. However, the fundamentals of cryptocurrency does not change regardless of the price. So the, the once the fundamentals is core, it is set there, it is the foundation of it all, then there's going to be a strong hodlers out there that will hodl no matter what. And I believe it is that stems from those people into the mainstream and that triggers the bull market into that accelerating phase. And once that is over, goes into bear market again and repeats the pattern. But that said, this is simply my opinion and what I believe in. You guys can decide for yourself, but just know out there that cryptocurrency is always in a pattern. And there might be a day that cryptocurrency turns around and Bitcoin and other coins will head the other direction opposite of right now. But that said, thank you guys for watching. I'll leave you guys at that. If you guys like this kind of content, like this video, comment below and smash the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, check out the links below and I'll really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.